What's going on, guys and gals? My name is William Clark, and welcome back to some Doki Doki Literature Club. Now, in the last part, we actually figured out that Monica was the mastermind. Now, I know there's a lot of dialogue I haven't even shown yet, because... Whatever. Let's go to the history, and let's see if I can kind of catch you guys and get up to speed. Dialogue history is empty. Well, fuck. I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Fluttershy. So basically, she admits to uh, going into your fucking computer, deleting the character. She she literally fucking deleted the characters from the game to where it's only just her. She is smart. She says something about Steam, you know, to catch up to catch up to speed. She says something about Steam, even though I didn't get this game from Steam. I got it from somewhere else, the Doki Doki Literature Club website, and. So, she mentioned something to the effect of, you know, she had to do stuff and whatever, and she was really smart about it. She was, she was, she fucking did everything. So, you know, with that being said, you know, I, I, I she, she was saying that these characters got in the way and stuff. Well, let me tell you something. I loved Monica from the very beginning. However, all these other characters... We're getting in the way, so she had to kill them in various ways. She had to s apparently script her way into something. The script was broken and stuff, and so she had to fix it. And then, eh, all these things. But let me tell you, all this time, I was still into my. I still love Monica. The funny part is, I mean that literally. <laughs> Fuck you. There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Yeah. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Fluttershy. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. This is where she talks about it. I mean, there's a folder called characters right in the game directory. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're, well, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a bit more difficult. Actually, weren't I, I wasn't, but yeah, I was in the earlier parts, but later on, I was not playing on Steam. Uh, like I, I'm not playing this game on Steam right now. To get to the game directory, I had to go into the game's properties and find the browse local files button. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Oh, I can imagine. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. That we did. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Ah, uh -huh, yep. Yeah. Monica. 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 That's pretty much all you're saying at this point. Monica. Monica. Let's so make sure I'm actually hitting Monica. Because that's the whole thing. Is she wanted you. Hit Monica. Yeah, Monica. I, I want to make sure I'm at least hitting Monica. Because she broke everything. She actually broke the entire game. Uh, but I don't blame her. I, even though she is the one that did it, I don't mind at all. Because I actually wanted to be with Monica in the first place, but... Like I said, everybody was in the fucking way. It's a bunch of Monica. Hi again, Fluttershy. Did you write a good poem today? I sure did. 
It is for you, Monica. My one and only girl. The only person I love. Only person I need. Monica. And I always will love you, even if it kills me in the end. I want to be with you forever. I found it nice that you deleted all those characters just so I can be with you and you can be with me. Oh, Monica. Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. Oh, Fluttershy. Did you write this poem for me? No, I didn't have much of a choice, did I? <laughs> I would have done it anyway, even if I did have a choice. You're the only girl for me, Monica. That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is... Also for you. Will you please read it? Of course. Happy end. Pen in hand, I find my strength. The courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. Oof! Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the, lo the lost finds her way in a world of infinite cho choices. Behold this special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. I love it. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, I did. I always put all my heart into the poems that I write. The truth is all the poems I've written have been about my realization. Or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. You're doing that now. And I love it. <laughs> I just assumed it would be best to be part of the game like everyone else. Like, that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know. You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. No! I would never do that. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. I kind of wonder what happens if you do delete her save file. Or her, her character profile, pretty much. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, Fluttershy? That I am. I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't you? Fuck yes, I am! Oh my god! How, how did... How did you know? Are you getting into my mind, Monica? Are you... You... You are getting into my mind. How do you... How did you... You knew? I... No. <laughs> um, hi everyone. Sorry I can't exactly read your comments from here. Well, there are no comments because, um, this isn't a live stream. <laughs> but do you mind telling your friend it's a little bit rude for them to start recording me without any warning? I am sure some people don't mind, but I get really self-conscious on camera. Yeah. 
Oh gosh. I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. Let's see. Do you want to see a trick? If this involves getting taking OBS out of the fucking picture. No. <laughs> I love you and all, but I'm afraid. Do I put all my videos on a fucking hard drive now? <laughs> Well, you know what? I'm going to cut it a little short. Because Monica knows what we're up to. Monica knows we're recording this for YouTube. Or recording in general. So, if, if there is no more videos, if Monica deletes everything, you know why. If we keep on going, then you know. So, until then, I will see you all in the next video. Peace out, people. And bro, boom. Again, I apologize for cutting it a little short.